my education mm -hmm. is I I have master degree in psychology. Psychology. See, si. but uh, I never worked uh, <laughs> as a psychologist, uh, and now for the last. Uh, Three years, I'm a professional climber. So the only thing I do is, is climbing. So I mostly live out of lectures. I have also sponsors, and I can finally focus on training and my own projects. But also for many years, I was leader of commercial expeditions. So I was a leader of more than 40 commercial expeditions. Hay que usar la psicología para escalar una montaña de 8000 metros. I don't know. <laughs> I think we are all psychologists. Every, every one of us. Every person. Every person is a psychologist. So, uh, I, I, my study. It was. I always. I used to say that my study is my hobby and climbing is my life, and it didn't change. <laughs> Maybe to live with your partners of expedition. For sure. Uh, all climbers. I think all Himalayas are a little bit crazy. If they were normal, they wouldn't be a Himalayas climber. Uh, so maybe my education helps me to cope with all these crazy people, <laughs> including mm -hmm. myself. Donde conociste a Denis, Surko y Alex, chico? Mm -hmm. uh, where did you? Okay, uh, I've met Alex um, in Karakorum in winter. Mm -hmm. uh, he was a part of expedition to uh, Gashe Brum One, uh, international expedition led by Gerfried Gosch. Uh, and I was a part of Polish expedition um, led by Arthur Heiser. So we spent 55 days in a base camp together, and also the approach is another six days. So we had a long time uh, to talk and to, to meet each other. And with Dennis, the story is that after my first successes on, on Makalu and also on Gashe Buman, I was thinking about. Uh, making my another climbing dreams come true, which is to open a new route on a 8,000 meter peak in Alpine style. And I needed a partner for this. And I asked my, my mentor, Arthur Heiser, like, Arthur, I want to do this, who can I climb with? And Arthur told me, you have to climb with the best. Right to Simon Nemoro and Denis Rubko. <laughs> and I was thinking like, ah, no, how can I ride to such a great climbers, you know? But, then I was thinking, okay, I can, I can always try. So I did write to, to Dennis and invite him for uh, my project for the new route on the west face of Manaslu. And he, he responded to me, like in, in 24 hours maybe, and he said he, he really, he's very happy with, with my proposition. And, but for that time he had some other plans but we will stay in touch for future. And it was a very positive answer. You know, I make it shorter, it was longer. Uh, and it gave me hope. And this Manaslu expedition didn't work out because I didn't want to go. It was after Broad Peak. I needed a time. I needed a rest from big mountains. For one year, I didn't go on expedition. But uh, just uh, uh, some time after, uh, it was Dennis who wrote me. And he invited me to uh, become a partner uh, of him uh, for the North Face of Kanchenzunga. And when I got the email, uh, when I read it, it's, wow, Denis Urupka wants to climb with me. I'm going. So this was the time when I came back uh, for a big climbing. Yeah, talking about Denis and Alex, uh, now you're planning to climb uh, K2. Yeah. How, how do you plan? How do you... Are you nuts? <laughs> <laughs> For sure we are, I told you. All Himalayas are loco. If they were not loco, they would not be Himalayas. Huh? How do you uh, start the trip? Um, okay, the, the logistic actually, actually, I used to say that for now, I don't see a chance to climb K2 in winter. But Dennis have really good plan. What I think is a really good plan, because his idea is to climb it by new route. Not because we, we are so ambitious, but, uh, okay, both me and Dennis, both, both me and Dennis, we climb K2 in summer. And uh, both of us have winter experience in Karakorum. 
and we totally agree, agree on that that from Pakistan side climbing can two in winter is really really hard if not impossible the Abruzzi Ridge uh, involves a lot of technical rock climbing on high altitude and is very much exposed to the wind that makes it like really dangerous for getting frostbites and, and really hard uh, our biggest problem in winter climbing is wind and cold which is nearly the same because wind makes the cold more uh, uh, you feel it more so the idea of Dennis which really got into my mind is to climb from the north but on the left side of the wall wow. so the idea is one we are perfectly protected from the west winds which are most often on K2 the mountain as Dennis uh, likes to put it mountain will be our friend because it will for most of our climb it will protect us totally from the wind and uh, another thing about the route uh, planned by Dennis is that it's mostly on ice and snow and ice and snow is better and faster climbing in winter it's also safer because uh, one might think that in uh, winter in Karakorum there is more snow hmm. like in mountains here or most places in the world this is not true actually in winter uh, the all, all snow is blown out with the wind so in the places where there is snow in the summer in the winter there is either rock or ice but uh, the wall that Dennis wants to climb there is a lot of snow and I think also in the winter there will be snow and it gives us a chance to build snow caves because one of the big problems of climbing in, uh, in winter is that every time you have to put down the tent when you leave the camp and in the evening you have to make the uh, uh, put out the tents again this is really complicated operation in such temperatures uh, it's really annoying you know to, to leave, pack all the camp every time you leave it but uh, I have this experience from Tianshan and obviously Dennis for, for whom the, the Tianshan was his uh, uh, home mountains you can say in, in Tianshan it is, it is normal practice to build snow caves I did it, he did it, we, we know how to do it and the snow cave is perfect uh, shelter in climbing because in a snow cave is safe mm -hmm. even the avalanches is not a risk it's perfectly sheltered from the wind and generally in a snow cave you have constant temperature which is like minus 4 degree it's much more, more warm inside the snow cave than outside so our plan is to be protected from the wind to build snow caves and to move fast on snow and ice well, um el éxito de una expedición en invierno, uh, winter expedition, it depends uh, a lot of the weather uh, sí. conditions. So, sí. so, así que es muy importante eh, cómo, cómo recibís la, la previsión, ¿no? uh -huh. la, el parte de, de la sí. meteo. Sí. ¿Cómo hacéis eso? Uh, my father sends meteograms <laughs> for me for many years. He's a, uh, he's a professional uh, meteograms sender. <laughs> yes, and uh, of course we will have uh, weather forecast. Uh, without them, it's not really uh, possible to climb in winter. Um, and of course, I, I know perfectly what chances we have to to summit K2. Low, <laughs> not many, but. When we were leaving uh, for Gashebrum 1, uh, all specialists in Poland, they said, oh, they have like 5% of chances to summit. And we did summit. So maybe for K2 we have 2%, but maybe we will summit as well, you know? Uh, I want to try. I'm going with, uh, with good friends. I'm going to one of the most beautiful places on Earth, like K2 from the north. Uh, I saw it only on pictures and it looks incredibly spectacular and I want to see it with my own eyes uh, these expeditions just to get to the base camp is an expedition itself it's a big adventure just to get there you are six days of walk from any other humans it's China so there is no helicopter coming for you it's, it's like no option that somebody will help you it's like really uh, you are really out of in the middle of nowhere. <laughs>
what I like is the idea of exploration. And for me, to be in this place in winter uh, is something very special. And if we climb it or not, the summit is not most important in climbing. Uh, for sure, we'll have uh, good adventure in good company. For me, it's important that we are going same team that already worked very well on Kanchenjunga. Uh, so, so I'm really happy. I'm excited for for good adventure. And of course, we do our best. Uh, we try to summit. Maybe we won't. We don't know. Hablas mucho de, de la compañía, de los amigos, ¿no? Es muy importante claro. que seáis buenos sí, amigos sí. porque pasáis muchos días juntos sí, y solos. Sí, 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 seguro. ¿Quién es el más simpático? Who makes you love him? No, you know, uh, I think they're all a bunch of crazy people, eh? So I like them all. And, uh, How are they? Uh, All, all a little bit different. Huh? I, for me, it was very interesting to, to have three Russians and to ask them all difficult questions about history and politics. But it wasn't, they were not very helpful because when I asked them a question, uh, one started to answer and then they start fight between themselves and I never got the answer because they were fighting between themselves. Eh? <laughs> they never had the one opinion on any topic. Eh? Uh, Alex, uh, for me, is like typical example of Spanish. So he's like very open, very energetic, uh, laughing a lot. So he's like a good spirit and my, like he come to a mess tent in the morning and everybody starts smiling already because he brings all the good energy. And Dennis is very professional. I like that about him, that, you know, for so many years he was in the army, that for him to climb a mountain is an aim. And he has so much experience already. I don't know how many, nobody can count how many 8,000 meter peaks he climbed, 22 or 23 is, is too many to count them all. But uh, that made him like really experienced well organized, uh, so he's perfectionist. And on Kanchenjunga, we could feel that he has plan for everything, you know? And yes, on, on Kanchenjunga, uh, we had to work very hard. We were just five people team. We climbed technical wall, 1,000 meters of new terrain. Um, we climbed grade five difficulties on 7,300 meters, so, so serious climbing. But during all this expedition, which is very important. I felt safe, is one thing, and I had good fun. So also in base camp, also in upper camp, we were laughing a lot. We had like nice lot of jokes and, and good discussions. So it was good time. Te deseamos we wish you all the best. And te deseamos muchísima suerte a ti y a, y a tus compañeros y que nos traigas si si puede ser la la película aquí a Gijón cuando cuando lo hagáis y tengáis éxito. Oh, I need to I need to come back. Today I see Narahodon Bulnes and it was very frustrating to look at the mountain, such a beautiful mountain uh, without a chance to climb it. So now I have to come back and you have a very like special place you live. I really enjoy here because it's the very unique that sea meets the mountains and if you combine it with like very welcoming friendly open people and with good food it's perfect combination <laughs> that makes me want to come back cuando quieras gracias 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 a ti